When I was diagnosed, I was told that the cancer I have is a very treatable cancer. That if, if you had to choose cancer, this one wouldn't be such a bad one to choose. But they were wrong. What kind of cancer? It's a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, but the sort of longer version is large B-cell lymphoma. What are your doctors saying are the odds of, uh, the odds of success here? They won't give me this information. It's like, uh, you know, I have to, I have to like, even, even when I ask them straight up, they kind of just like don't look at you in the eyes and they just want to inspire hope. And when you put this stuff on Instagram, what's the reaction? People are sending me, you know, tender thoughts and letting me know that I'm in their prayer. And uh, they're sort of interested in my fight. They want me to sort of persevere through all the shitstorm. Even though I'm not religious and I'm not hopeful. When, whenever I think about my own death, I don't feel any... I don't really feel anything like that has to do with fear. I feel other things like, um, like I'm a bit annoyed by this question of, uh, or this thing about not, not being able to fulfill what I'm capable of fulfilling. Like, I, I think that I could achieve more than maybe some people, uh, even artistically, you know, but I also have conflicting thoughts that are like, when you're dead, who cares? No, you won't care when you're dead. It doesn't really actually matter when you're dead. I'm constantly preparing my friends in a way by being open about it. It's kind of like when it happens, it will be more gentle uh, because, um, they sort of knew it was coming and they know my perspective on it. And cancer sort of gives me a, a free pass for um, sharing very deeply with people. I've been probably happier during this time than a lot of my previous life. And it is because of this connective feeling and feeling um, love in a much more pure way. Everybody was convinced that I would uh, that I would be cured. Like, they just couldn't imagine or think of someone who looks as strong as I do um, that, that I could die. It just seems impossible to them. And the fact that I look this way is a kind of clever mask and works really well in that way. If I say these words, my friends get really mad. Like, I say, you know, my death, in a way, is a spectacle. Like, I think my friends are interested even. I think in a healthy way, but if they were to say it out loud, everybody would bash on them. But interested in the process of me dying, almost in a way that it could be, it could be potentially a better thing that I died because they, went, they had that experience of having a friend who had cancer and died. It would be less interesting if you had a friend who had cancer and lived, if that makes sense.